All right, cool. Looks like it's going live. And I was picking my nose on it when I... That's so great. Okay, so here we go. Cardiff starts kind of leading you guys off into the city, okay? Uh, and Cardiff, as you're doing so, you recall um, your notes, and you recall what you were trying to locate. The and sleeper. No, it's not the sleeper. It's not what you want at all. Um, go ahead and make me uh, just an intelligence history check. Uh, to start the start the day. Okay. Once it loads. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. So you recall quite a bit about Digram, also known as an accent. In fact, um, you don't know when, but you remember training here in your wizard studies. You remember learning a lot from a library, but you can't remember where it was located. But you remember it being at a temple. You remember about where the temple is. And as you kind of start walking through the city, you're not seeing the city as the city. You're seeing the city as you remember it. There isn't mm -hmm. sticky floors, which every so often drink, you know, like drags you out of your reverie. You're like, ah, pff, ugh, the ground's sticky because the, the sleeper has basically coated everything in its slime. But you... Um, kind of are recalling past days when you actually studied in this very city. Um, or so you think you did, you're not sure. But you remember where you wanted to go. And you remember why you wanted to go there. You remember that there were mysteries there, lots and lots of secrets that were kept by these ancient wizards, this enclave of wizards that worshiped a god of secrets. And you're saying to yourself, if we're going to know anything about what's here, if we're going to know anything about the sleeper and its past, the best place to look is there. And so, you travel. Okay. So those of you that are familiar with the city, you would know that it's kind of sectioned off into kind of uh, you know, specific uh, places. And for those of you who traveled out into the city, some of you are, remember that there was a tower kind of connected to the wall, but it ascended up out of the, uh, the wall towards the ceiling and connected to it. Past that tower is where he leads you. Um, and uh, upon leading you past it um, a ways, he, he leads you to this very large kind of expanse that leads up to a, from what you can see from down here, just barely, kind of a, a stone carved wall, um, a facade, very often in the distance. Uh, you can just kind of make it out in the shadows. Um, it appears to you, Dan, well lit, and you're kind of seeing it as you remember it in the glory days. You remember a very large set of double doors made completely out of amber, with six statues of dwarf wizards of old, also carved completely out of amber, all of them brightly illuminated with fire sconces and braziers that sat outside of the temple. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> to everybody else, it's just another dark wall or a corner of this stupid infernal place. And you see a path. Um, some of the slime actually seems to be kind of coated up to like higher layers. It's a bit more like thick in specific areas, but there seems to be a path that kind of winds through it, um, kind of heads up towards that wall. Um, anybody have any questions before you guys continue up that pass? Uh, yeah, I have a question. Yeah. What in the fuck is Crusheus' gift? Is that something my character has? Because I don't remember this. Uh, I no, gave that's it, for Kevin. I gave it to the wrong Kevin. The other Kevin has that. Okay. I was like, I don't remember this, but this seems broken as fuck. It's not bad. <laughs> But anyways, um, that aside, uh, does anybody else have any questions related to the, the matter at hand? No. Um, it, what, Chad? That it's dark? Yeah, it's really dark. It's dark like everywhere else in the city. Okay. Are you igniting Lumiere? Draws Lumiere and lights it. Okay. All right. Anybody else um, need light? Light. 
light is cast on. Uh, no, nope, I'm the only one with the dark vision. So. Pocket takes well, the goggles of night. Um, if if Cardiff's going to be up front, like leading everybody around, Typhon's going to be right there with him. So Cardiff actually is kind of just meandering, um, and he kind of every time a direction's kind of pulled, he kind of points in that direction with the staff. He's not standing in the front of any group. I, I doubt he would, right? No, no, I would. Oh, he's, I he's died enough. The presumed marching order, and correct me if I'm wrong, it's two by two, but you're going to have that middle line where it's just the one. It's Typhon and Pockets up front, shield wall. Behind that, you have the glaive from Barn hanging out in the back, or Halberd, I think. What was it? What do you wield? Halberd. Yeah. And then Halberd. behind those two, you have the casters, the uh, the druid and the, the wizard. That was the presumed marching order. Any corrections need to be made on that or not? Um, I mean, pockets might try to be five foot ahead to check for traps when something looks potentially nefarious, but... Understandable. Okay. Right. Well... Um, Python... Huh, okay. Um, I'm gonna cast aid on... Barn, Kevin, Dan. Perfect. And I'm going to give a platinum ring. Mm -hmm. Button. To who? Uh, pockets. Okay, you got to make sure you're holding down your button when you're talking. Keep on cutting. Um, you just did it again. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know what that push to talk is. I mean, I'm literally, this whole time, every any time I've ever used it, never used okay. the button. Okay. Well, then just yell at it. Uh, okay. Is there. that better? That it? I can hear you. It's better than just watching your mouth move. All right. Um, as you guys progress up a bit and are casting spells and such, um, each one of you kind of see up ahead this light kind of just emanate. Um, from what you can tell, there is a lot of this nasty kind of purple sludge all about, but there seems to be a path that's kind of trudged through it, like someone's walked up this way ahead of you. And at the top of this path, you see the temple, just as you remember it, uh, Cardiff. You can see it, but it's all just kind of like rubble's kind of fallen down around it. Uh, there's just rocks and boulders. And where the double doors would be, instead you see just a big pile of rubble. And sitting on top of that pile of rubble is the source of that light. You see a man with a scruffy looking beard, a blue tunic underneath a kind of leather, just... Uh, Jerkin, um, and he's wearing a green Liberty cap with a yellow band over top it. Um, and in his hand, he's kind of just holding the uh, the source of the light. Hello there! <laughs> Hail! All the way down at the bottom of the map. Who, who might you be, uh, kind sir? I am Ian Woodson. Who are you? Uh, I'm Cardiff. Yes, and these are my compatriots, uh, uh, rambunctious crew. Uh, are you following the girl? Well, uh, she's this way, I suppose. Uh, yes. That's why I was following, but it seems that there's oh. no means of aggress. So I leave you to it, I suppose. Well, there's a will. <laughs> yes. I, I guess I'll just be heading back to where I go. Huh. Well, that's not necessary. You can... You can join us, uh, my friend. No, I have specific orders not to join that one. And he points at Typhon. Why? Eh. I don't know, but the lady says that we are not to be dealing with him. The lady? <laughs> who, who, who is this lady? <laughs> yes. I, I will tell you only that I am of the Azumaten. The order of the Azum the order, <laughs> <Mitten? laughs> the order of the Eastern Sky. Uh. And with that, I tell you, the red-haired girl, she entered here, I presume, because I have yet to be able to find her, and I've walked all along and down this way, and I have not found her. I wish you the best of luck. And as he says that, he kind of moves his hand 
like in front of his face. And as right. he's doing so, the top of his head just disappears with the movement of his hand. Uh, and he kind of moves his hand all the way down and like bows. But I guess he kind of. Do you attempt to counterspell him? I mean, no. no. What's, the, what's the range fuck, on counter? Fuck, fuck what's no. the range on counterspell? I don't know, man. All right. I don't know if I'll do that. Yeah, he vanishes. <laughs> Varn will have a question to the rest of the party. What's up, Varn? Why do people of the sky come down here where there is none? <laughs> well, Carter pulls out a parchment and starts jotting down. Pocket just scratches his head at that statement. Look. That that's a really good good thought there, huh? I, I I never thought about that. Hold on, Tim. Roll me roll me uh, just an intelligence check. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be funny. <laughs> okay, you have this dumb moment where you remember meeting Varn on the surface, and he's a person from the Rock. Why do the people of the Earth come out to the sky? Hmm. Uh and, and and to expound upon your point, why why do people of the earth come out to meet the sky like like Vaughn did? I didn't come out to meet the sky. I came out to meet the rest of the earth. But 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 the sky's there. <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> uh, good times. All right. Um. Chat stepped away. Uh, Kevin, you're probably not paying attention to the things that they're saying. You're more or less paying attention to what there is before you. As the mage disappears from the rock, the sight that you had on the building kind of dissipates. Keep in mind, until I tell you otherwise, every square is considered difficult terrain. Movement is hindered. So if you want, you can progress, but you're moving at half your speed. So what the fuck is Kevin? Kevin Don't worry is, about what Kevin, I am. Kevin, from looking at him, he looks like a, a tree man, like a man made yeah. of like leaves and wood, um, with very large kind of elvish or fey features. Um, but other than that, he's been referred to as the druid. Um, and you remember Varn mentioning something about him being highly recommended by Stenin, um, Clementine, and some other um, members of the uh, the cavern camp. Okay. Uh, when when the one Ozumatan guy said that there is no egress, is it just sort of like there might be something up high, but it's just sort of sheer cliff face, or make an insight check? It... Right. You said insight. Yeah. Why this? Oh, there we go. Uh, you're not sure um, what he meant by it. From what you assume, he means that there's no way into this place, and. Um, you don't really see it anymore, so you aren't sure if he's right or wrong. Wait, 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 John. He said that there's no egress. Fair enough. So we can get in, but we just can't get out. There's no entry. Oh, ingress. Fair enough, Mr. Mister Man. Can you mute one of your uh, audios? Why, you want to match chat? Uh, who, Ian? Ian's got two. Yeah. Just, you can, I mute, you can mute him. Two. I thought I muted this one. Ian, I don't are, know. You, are you on Discord? Yeah. Okay, great. Up in the top right, go, go to their name and like highlight over their square. And then in the top right corner, you should see a mute option. Yeah. Anywho, technicalities aside, pockets, you're kind of just staring blankly, thinking that there's no way into this place. Hold on. John, are there any fucking animals nearby, dude? No, not that you can... Well, can you detect them? Or... Uh, I don't know, dude, you tell me. No, it doesn't feel like this is a place where animals would thrive. The ground around you is literally covered in, like, inches of slick, nasty slime that looks like it's almost, like, bio-like consistency. There's, there's no mice. There's nothing. 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 Shit. Not that you can see. This place oh, is I gross. investigate, dude. Cardiff starts to hoot. <clears throat> to the echoing cavern. Okay. Um, you Your hoots are joined by the hoots of uh, Gavin, who kind of slips out of your robe just to pop his head out and hoot. Um, but you just hear echoing. Uh, 
I'm gonna have Gavin explore ahead a little bit. Okay. Carefully. He can go 100 feet from you, right? Uh, I believe so. He sees the same things that you've seen so far. Okay. Well, uh, shall we go on? Well, I, I figure that uh, it, it'd be your, your call, sir, because uh, on accord of you sort of gathered us here together, so uh, it, dealer's choice, as it were. Excellent. Well, uh, let's go. Yes. So I guess I continue forward and Gavin continues scouting. Okay. Um, when Gavin returns, you actually notice that, like, as he kind of, he, he flies back to you. Um, you, you see him kind of land on your shoulder, and you can see that his feathers, he's shaking off frost. Um, he just seems to be covered with cold. Um, Varn and uh, Fenmar, as you guys are approaching, you can feel the temperature drop with every footstep that you take. It seems like approaching this place is chilling. I'll take Gavin down in my ropes. Okay. Is there any uh like holes in any walls or ceilings or whatnot that Again, I can see? You can't even see the building, like with the light source okay. that you have. If you want to approach closer, then we can talk about that. But as of right now, you can't even see anything besides just the shadows of the the the, const the, the, the building in front of you. Oh, I approach then. Okay. I, I try to approach quietly and uh, watching my step as I travel for sure. Sally forth. And as I said before with them, the closer you get with each footstep, it feels like the temperature is dropping. It feels like you're going to kind of feel the cold, like get very brisk if you get closer and closer. So go ahead and just move to wherever you would move. And I'll tell you like what the effects there are. Oh shit, we're actually on the map. No? Oh, wow. Bottom, bottom portion of the map, yeah. Sorry. We're getting cold? Mm-hmm. You know, I turned into a panther. Okay, it seems that, you know, panthers aren't terribly acclimated to cold. It wouldn't be the first thing I think of when I you, think... You'd want a bear or a tiger or something. Trust me, panther. There, Maybe a lynx? Are there, are there panthers in Canada? No. There's cougars in Canada. They also have mountain lions. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the dark, dude. They, they, they also have mountain lions. Pockets, it's very, very cold. It's so cold that you feel like you'd want to turn around because it's about negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 23 Ooh. degrees Ooh. Celsius. It's that's rigid. That's not the... Con oh, uh, not negative 23 degrees, just 23 degrees. Whatever cold is, it's cold. Pock 23 Pockets. degrees... Celsius, so it's like no, you know, neg negative eighty something degrees. Negative twenty three. That's what it says. I don't know. I'm just reading. Do you have any this. recollection of this area? Not being cold. Okay. <laughs> cold up there. Do we have any warmer glows? Um, you cast attack magic, and um, yeah. you're not seeing any emanations directly. You are seeing traces of the uh, black wind, what magic is pulled from, that kind of just linger all about, but it doesn't seem like there's any like permanent sources of magic present. Okay. Uh, I, I reach into my bag of holding and, and pull out a blanket, okay. like a thick winter blanket. That'll count for co as cold weather gear for you. That's fine. That'll suffice. Uh, I have a couple of those, actually. Hold on, if I turn into a black bear, will that actually give me, like, resistance to this cold shit? I don't know. Then, yeah, I totally do that. It's the only bear I can turn into right now. Oh, and, uh, I, I have five blankets. Okay. I want a blanket. Um, <laughs> black bears are medium or large size? Do you know? Medium. Okay, cool. I don't have to change anything about your thing. Any of your blankets resemble rugs from Ikea? No, unfortunately. P Pockets uh, thankfully takes a blanket from you and quickly wraps it around himself and holds it tight. As he's still, his teeth are still <laughs> chattering. 
Cardiff just puts one finger up to his lips. Uh, the bear wraps himself in the blanket. Okay. You guys seem warmer. It, do you feel like you can brave the cold um, from coming from the uh, this just the temple? You suppose. Pocket starts to move forth again. Okay. It's newly wrapped in a blanket. Up ahead, you can see that there is a large amount of rubble. Uh, looks like some sort of um, old crenellation or like facade piece that's come down heavily. It seems to be blocking off a pair of double doors, which you can only just make out over the top of the rubble, but it appears that the surface of that is made completely out of amber. Uh, near translucent, just orange kind of... You, does everybody know what amber is? Yeah. Has everybody seen Jurassic Park? Has everybody seen yeah. Jurassic Park? <laughs> that's okay. what I was thinking. There you go. Okay. Um, but yeah, just barely see the tops of those doors. Um, it's a lot of rubble, not anything that you think you could easily move, um, in your current state. Is there, oh, uh, what's above it? Is there any openings in the wall or anything? Nothing that you can see now. Um, there are statues to the left and right. The statues are also made completely out of amber. Um, they seem to be also semi-translucent, but they appear to be um, of dwarves in robes, much like this one that I'm wearing right now, uh, with their beards kind of coming out, um, and they appear to be older wizards. Um, you actually think you might recognize the names of them just by memory, Cardiff, but you also are just kind of mumbling words, and they're not terribly important. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I'm definitely like trying to take in this entire area. Uh, periodically... You can see like a mage in scrawling notes. So, so uh, how are we supposed to get inside if if all this amber is blocking the door? Oh, no, no, sorry. The, the doors are made up of amber. The stone okay. is made out of stone. Okay, so exchange amber um, for stone. Um, Guys, I know uh -huh. how to get through. How, how much lantern oil do we have? Well, uh, I suppose about uh, eight ounces. Uh, oh, that's not enough. We're going to have to set the bear on fire. Uh, uh, because it's amber, if you expose it to high levels of heat, it will melt back into resin. Well, I suppose... Yeah, but we're gonna, we'd, need a, we'd need a lot of wood. And a really big fire. Well, well it'll start fall. burning itself once you get it um, back into a resin. Perfectly but. fine. Um, Cardiff, as you're kind of like listening to them talk and stuff, you're still kind of scanning around with your detect magic. Still detect magic, yeah. Yeah. You would see that the door behind the rocks does have its own kind of aura to it, and the statues also have their own kind of auras to them. Um, you recall from studying here that the uh, doors and the statues both have very powerful warding magic, abjuration magic, that defends the place from specific people who are not welcome. If you are not welcome, there is no means of entry. Do you recall how it became quote unquote welcome? It's just uh, any hostile well, act. You would you would know that like if you're not listed, then if if you aren't put on a list, then you're welcome. So basically it's not a list of people who can enter. It's a list of people okay. who can't. It's a ban okay. list, not a not yeah. an access list. So having been in here before, you well, should you, be okay. Yeah, and you weren't thrown out, so you should be okay. The thing is, is if you were thrown out or you are not welcome, that's when you can't get in. If you're just okay. a regular guy walking in on the street, you're fine. Okay. What is this, a city or an establishment? This is a temple. It's a temple. Like he said. Now, John, is this actual fossilized resin, or is it like... Just pressed and hardened resin, actually amber or are you like running? False amber. Are you running up there to check it out? I'm standing right next to it, John. Well, it's the like pile of rubble right the, here. That the that pile of rubble is not amber. The pile of rubble is stone. Oh. Behind the pile of rubble are two doors that are made out of amber. You'd have to climb up to get to the very tippy top. There's only like a bit of it showing. There's also the statues that are made out of amber. You can check those out if you'd like. So well, I'll want to look at the doors. So Make I'll it. be climbing into this pile of rubble. 
Okay, you see the dwarf kind of slap his glaive onto his back, and with his big gauntleted hands, just kind of start... Halbert! Halbert, I mean, fine, sorry. And he kind of starts just climbing his dwarfy butt up there. And uh, go ahead and make a history uh, check, but double your uh, proficiency bonus because it's stone. Yeah, so this is going to be at an additional plus three because I don't want to get in it, so it's a 12. Okay. Um, you're pretty sure that it's legit resin. It's 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 fossilized. This is very old okay. material. Okay. So it won't just burst into flames if we expose it to fire. We'll actually have to... Mm -hmm. Get it heated up, and it'll start separating out, and then yeah. catch fire. You're also very aware, like just knowledgeable enough to know that it's possible for dwarfs to kind of shorten the process um, to create artificial uh, amber, but not have the problems of artificial amber. Yeah, a false amber tends to separate, and you get an oily residue building on the outside of it, and it's just nasty, disgusting. Dwarven Stonecraft, to your knowledge, they, they can make it without the the problems. All right. All right. So yeah. Okay. Uh, how much of this rubble is being supported by the doors? Um, a lot of it. Um, actually, it kind of forms like a uh, like a ramp up to that little top portion that you went up to. So. Um, All right. There really isn't well, much of a means of getting into the doors or getting the doors open. My question is, is if we started burning through the doors and the amber softened, collapsed backwards, would the rubble skate backwards with it? The rubble would probably push it in if it were to melt, yeah. So, I mean, that's an option, guys. If Okay. Cardiff, you're kind of wandering off looking at the statues. Yeah. It kind of looks like there's some kind of broken bit of stone off to the, the left side. Um, and... Uh, yeah, you're heading over there by yourself. Typhon, you're kind of standing in the sludge, just uh, hanging out. Um, Fenmar, you're a bear. Um, is there anything in particular you're wanting to do? Uh, no, I'm hanging out, I guess, following Stay up. Stay with the group. Okay. And then Pockets and uh, Varn, you're over by the uh, the rock face. Um, Cardiff. Pockets holds up, uh, takes out uh, his horn of alchemist powder and says, Oh, uh, uh, I've been carrying this for a while, and uh, I don't know if this could be of some use to uh, help clear the rocks. But I'd rather not uh, damage the structure Cardiff, anymore. It's already uh, as you're talking, sustained. As you're talking, Cardiff, you hear a yeah. low growl, and you kind of look back over in the direction you were looking. Mm -hmm. And you see a wolf's head come around the corner, and its eyes are like reflecting the light back at you. Um, like wolves tend to do, but it's reddish color. And it kind of sees you, and when it sees that you see it, it goes, <clears throat> and it turns its head back around and goes back into the cave. You hear it trot off. Hello? <laughs> no Did it seem malicious? Oh, yeah, for sure. It was bright red eyes, feral looking, just... <laughs> but it also seemed like it was sentient. Like it wasn't just a dog looking at you. It looked like it had yeah, purpose. Yeah. No, definitely. If it was a beast, it would have just attacked me. So I'm curious. Hmm. The druid? Panther Man? Freeman? I'm a bear. I growl at you. Uh, well, I suppose it's fitting. <laughs> I mean, I could see this, no? I could see this wolf. The only it's one that saw it was uh, Cardiff. Oh, true. Uh, I kneel down next to the bear. Like, right next to his, like, huge fucking jaws. And I'm like, I saw the wolf! I have keen smell. Can I smell the wolf? Um, make a perception check. Uh, yeah, just barely. The rest of the place smells like fish and sludge. Like this nasty kind of just uh, fish awfully smell. Um, but just over the top of that you can smell you think the hints of a, a wolf. Um, a a well-kept wolf too. Not one that's just shaggy and dirty and nasty, 
But then you also are pretty certain that you can smell, you think humans. You think there are humans um, somewhere close by and not just pockets in Cardiff. Like okay. more humans. These ones are less, so, a little less cleanly as the people that are with you. So because I can't talk and I'm a bear, I, uh, I look at Cardiff and I growl. I imitate a wolf and then I point one of my bare hands in that direction and then I I also stand up like people and I, I walk around like a person like do 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 you know like that casual yeah. charades! You know? I know charades! <laughs> yeah. yeah with your perception check you'd also notice that the sledge allows you like it, it the way it moves it's kind of like stickiness you could draw patterns in it and kind of in the, in the ground as well this is this is more fun, but yeah. Cardiff, yeah, has, Cardiff has no idea no what you're talking about. No fucking idea what you're talking about, Bear Man. But uh, I try. He goes and he grabs a chair. He sets it down. He thinks you want to play circus games. All right, when I see it's not working, I, I just, we start going in. You start going Cardiff, in. Okay. Cardiff points onward. You can see that there's a narrow crevasse, kind of a break in the stone. Looks like it's about three feet wide and about ten feet high. That's kind of splintered into the stone wall. Um, as you kind of come around to it, you can also see that there's a bit of light coming out of it. Um, I kind of cut my hands and say, hey, giant turret! Not, not quiet or subtle at all. I'm just hollering to the guys at the front door. Typhon, Fenmar, both of you make perception checks. I don't think we're making it in there! I have to hold my, my mouse as I do. Fenmar and Typhon both, you hear the sounds of swords being drawn, or weapons being unsheathed. I look, I turn around, and I look at this wizard, and, look at and I facepalm. As a bear. As a bear! <laughs> in a blanket! <laughs> yeah, we both turn, double facepalm. Alright. You guys have traveled far enough to understand that he's not... He doesn't That's totally fine. see a point in subtlety. It's just very honest. I think sword and his shield ready, and he tells the bear that he should probably go get the others. I mean, they're the ones that heard that, so... All right. You heard it too, correct? The bear can't reply, but he's still face-bombing. But Typhon. Oh, Typhon, yeah. Typhon right. What's Typhon doing with this person? I, with myself? Yeah, what's your, now that you heard swords being drawn, what are you doing? Oh, I'm waiting to see what happens next. I'm not going to go charging in, but okay. if they come charging out, I want to get between them and you. Yeah, of course. So, uh, you guys want Varn to go over there and help out? Or right should he here. start the fire? Uh, no, I, I called to you just a moment ago. So, uh, no. That's no the time to start a fire right now. So yeah, obviously... but is it, hey, Varn, we need you? Or is it just Varn? He'll wave back if you just call his name. Like, yeah, that's No, me. I said over here, I believe. I don't think yeah. we're going to get in there. He will. It'll just take an hour or so. Well. And he's... Like four turns from getting to you, so. Mm. Is there, do we have anybody small or slippery on? Somebody get in there to try and look around and see who we're dealing with? Or am I just gonna, do you want me to just kinda oh. Eric, take a, take a shots? <laughs> I, I can that see happens. through that, correct? Yeah. Like, Okay. Uh, well, uh, I, we, I could, I could teleport myself through the, through the crevasse and take a look around, but, uh, I, I can't really take anyone with me. Can I squeeze through here? You can attempt to. It's about two, three feet, uh, wide, so it's going to be a squeeze. You're going to be moving and you'll have disadvantage and everything attacking you might have advantage. Start casting this ritual. Is that the hut? Yep. Okay. So are you saying are you saying spell words? 
Yep. And you're going to walk through while you're doing it? Nope. I'm going to hang out right here. Okay. You, you hear some kind of whispering um, on the other side. You guys want to wait for me to finish this? It's a ritual. Well, that's, uh, actually, if you want, I can get... I mean, go ahead and get in there. At least they're going to be hit. I mean, I have to... I want to stand here to cast this so I can get at least 10 feet of the barrier. That's totally fine. But if, like, before you start, you could just let me... There. Just like I mean, cram sure. myself in the crevasse in front of you. Okay. And Pockets is just waiting for whatever happens pa to happen, and then he'll. Pocket says in. he can teleport right in. I could too, but I mean, it doesn't account for everyone else. This at least gives us some sort of security. Well, I mean, I could just go through. I'm already here. Might as well go get, what, a couple attacks on? I mean, if they come into the crevasse, then, I mean, yeah. What are you doing? So, that's, I'm, I'm casting Temporal Barrier. And it's taking ritual. 10 minutes to... Or, uh, if they give us 10 minutes to... Because, honestly, getting through this, I'm, I'm really concerned about getting through this passage. Because then we'll get stuck in the passage. This at least gives us, you know, to where we have one square to get out of yep. the fucking passage. So that way we're not stuck in the choke. So if they want to wait 10 minutes, or they could come and try and attack through here. They're more than welcome to. Um, I have a couple spells I could cast. And it says that but yeah, times one minute. That's if I don't cast it as a ritual. Oh, okay. I'm casting it as a ritual. Although it would be a good... Very good spell to put in my, my ring, but that takes three slots and it only has five slots. So, that's my idea. If you as, guys want to squeeze As through, you guys are talking amongst yourselves and kind of what, muttering words, presumably in the common tongue because nothing else was spoken, you hear a voice from the other side say, I am Helwa, servant of the Amber. Who are you? Why do you come here? Can you spell his name for him? Helwa? It's a girl. So I Hello, it, Ella. I said it was a female voice. H-E-L-L-A. Uh, Hyphen starts to slow way through the passage. Yells back, my name is Typhon Demakos. Rosa. Arm. The second you get right about there, the next thing you see is just muscles and blades just rushing in at you. Um, I'm not going to move them, but you can already see them on the left side. They're more on the right side, and they all move in a specific pattern so that they stop in front of you, attack, and then move away. And you get no reactions because you're squeezing. And I get advantage because you're squeezing. Okay. One second. I don't know what I should have done. Six attacks. That's darkness on one of those rocks. Well, that's a miss. That's a miss. That's a miss. Yes. <laughs> Yay. That's a hit. Boo. Boo. So just the one. Take nine points of slashing damage. The fellows that you see rushing in to attack you are attacking with axes with slightly longer hats than you'd expect. Um, they're all wearing kind of furs, uh, wolf furs, you think, um, and appear to have kind of a northerner kind of uh, tribal uh, human look. They're all humans. Um, they all attack in secession. Just a grinding blaze of axes rushing through. And they all kind of like peer in and then step back into their positions behind the wall. Uh, because you hear Helwa yell something in a strange kind of guttural voice. Um, does anybody here speak giant? Yes. No? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Varn, what she so, said what she said was, Get back, fool! Spellcaster! In giant. So as, as a uh, reaction to taking all those hits, can I say something? You don't have a reaction, but you can speak for free. Yeah. I say, Pockets, get in here! Oh, God. All right, so if pockets, pockets uh, will. Can I ready an action? 
Is it obvious that I'm not going to get this ritual? When you're when you're squeezing, your action is yeah. movement. Like you move at like one half your speed, which is actually half your half your speed because the slime, and then you're trying to squeeze. Like that's the okay. action. Move again. No, you 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 move thirty speed normally, right? Yeah. Okay, so you can move a total of ten feet in, and that's it. That's your turn. Yeah. Because remember, like you ten got, feet into the top or yeah. ten feet into the building. No, ten feet to where you just moved. That was your okay, movement. Okay, that's fine. Done. Now we're if there's a, another portion of the surprise round, which is Tim said, I teleport if things go and poof in. He can go ahead and do that. I'm gonna regret this, but P yeah. Pockets uses his uh, misty dagger and teleports in. In response, as if it was ready to do so, a big fucking wolf. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. We'll pounce at you. Yep. And again, not knowing its position, it will count as uh, hidden for that. Not that it matters, it has an ally within five feet, so. Bite. Uh, I should have rolled it to two, it doesn't matter. Neither of them wanted it. And then we fix that shit so it doesn't happen again. All right, cool. So a wolf jumps at you, tries to bite at your leg and bring you down. You kind of dodge it. Um, you're firing what spell? I, I, I was just I was just trying to honestly look at my spells. I, okay. I can't cast anything it, else. At the, at the top of your sheet, you should see there's all GM and something else. If you click the uh, self button, before you cast up, it'll just oh, see. throw to you instead of everybody. Okay. Oh, that's really neat. Great initiative. Just don't forget that you turned it on like Kevin does all the time. Right. Nice. Wait, what do I turn on all the time? Other Kevin. Oh. Ooh. Damn, Canada Kevin's. I initiative tracker needs to go up now. Gosh, yell at me more, jeez. Sorry, it's just... I, I didn't want I to be plan. rolling initiative and then all these initiatives not counting. They're not on the turn up. Sorry. No, they, they count, even if it's not up. Okay. Because that happened in one game. Got to... Get it going. None of the initiatives counted. So, Varn's just over here, slamming pittons into this wall to... to crack the stone. So you can pry it out, yeah. pry it open, have a slightly wider space to walk through, but yeah, if you guys want to go ahead, I mean... I was gonna put a... It doesn't matter what we we're gonna do. It doesn't matter. I mean, unless someone wants to go ahead and turn into a badger and uh, dig through this thing. Alright. And last but not least, last but not least, the um, uh, person in the back pockets. The second the wolf pounces over you, kind of like gets low, you can see her. Um, she has in one hand a big weapon, um, and in another hand she has this strange looking device that kind of looks like a grip, you know, like the grip tools. Um, and she squeezes it, and when she does, type in, make a strength saving throw. What is it? That... Make uh -oh. a strength saving throw, type in. She just shot you with the taser. No. Um, so you are not restrained, but you do feel. I get plus four. That should already be added into your. I don't. I didn't know how to build in. Okay, it's fine. Regardless, one. the walls crush in on you a bit, um, but okay. you manage to hold yourself pretty steady, and you aren't smashed completely. But they are kind of holding you in place. Um, you're not restrained. You just still again have to squeeze. All right, pockets. You first. Mm. Uh, uh, pockets will uh, drop uh, his misborn dagger, and hopefully test the theory that it's going to return to its sheath and draw out uh, Selena Stiletto and mm -hmm. take a. A stab at the wolf. Okay. Go for it. 
Oh, that'll hit. Nice. And he will shoot. That was a terrible idea. I should have taken the dodge action. Oh, well. Right. Uh, <laughs> and with that, uh, he'll just get ready to take a beating. <laughs> Your dagger slams back into its sheath. Yes! Typhon, again, your speed is half your half, so ten. And your action, if you're going to move, is to squeeze. So... you get a bonus action? You can still do a bonus action, but you can't cast spells in your current position. Yeah, That okay. have a so somatic component. I take my movement and... Mm -hmm. um, can I move any more than that? That's five... Ten feet. That's it. Or do I have more movement now that I'm not restrained feet. or whatever? You yes. did all your movement, man. So, yeah, I can't just... I guess I'll have to go right about here. And bonus action I cast. Okay. On yourself. Yep. Okay. All right. It'll go to them. Right. Got this. Two attacks on pockets. <laughs> oh no! Probably hits. <laughs> yeah, it does. That probably hits. Yeah, it does. Opposite ends of the spectrum Don't there. Um, the other one. We'll attack Typhon. That'll crit for a total of 15 damage. Was that against Pockets or Typhon? Typhon. Yeah, that's literally okay. the only way they can hit me. Yeah. And... Okay, so that one's not backing up. I'm just setting him down. But he moves forward... And he is going to... You're rolling to GM, guy. Roll to self. Come on. He is going to try and body check you back towards the hole. Uh, make an athletics check. Um, actually... Can I... Talk louder? Yeah, you could. But you're yeah. not. No, no, no. I was, I was, I was going to hellish rebuke him, but I was too... Yeah. Um, you're hellish rebuking? Uh, the first guy, yeah. Sure, go for it. Okay. That deck's through. Yeah. 19 damage. Alright. The other one's body checking you, so athletics check. There they are. Sorry, bear with me. That's not that's not it at all. Wow, that's freaking weird. I mean it, that would have that actually would have worked, but it's not even close to the right roll. That's just a that's just a dire roll. <laughs> um, and they have plus three strength and such. We'll just go with the die roll though. It's a roll of a ten. Um, he has the skill trained and he also has advantage on the check. And he also has plus three strength bonus. So you're getting shoved five feet. Get back in your hole. Go back here? Mm hmm Okay. And then he will move. After shoving you, he will back in, away from you. Um, and then this one here will... Circle around the dog. Um, keeping his distance from pockets with his daggers, and he'll try and check you into the hole. Athletics check. Go 
Go back Anybody in the got wall. inspiration? Go back in the hole. Oh. Ah. All right. So again, because you're being pushed into this position, you are technically forced to take the squeeze action during your next turn to move at all, and you can't take any actions besides attacks, uh, which would have disadvantage. Spellcasting with somatic components is impossible. John, John, I'll give him my inspiration. Okay. I just marked it off, so. I believe you. So he passes that. All right, go back to your position. Back. Go back to your position. It's fine. I fine. never get to use my own inspiration, John. I'm always giving it away. Car Cardiff. Well, it's because you give it away too fast. You should have saved it. Cardiff. Spells. Spells. Unless they're all raging. I'm still going to cast the same spell. It's just not going to work. Boom! Spell is this? Actually, fuck it. We'll put it right here. Mm -hmm. And as I'm doing that, I'm also hooting. Okay. So, Typhon and Pockets, go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, Pockets has plus three. Mm -hmm. Still fails. You're fine. <laughs> Pockets failed. Berserkers. Got two of them. Oh, wait, one more. So going from the top down. Okay. So that would mean the two directly above Pockets are disabled. The two directly adjacent to the right of uh, Typhon are not disabled. And the one further on back in the line is disabled. And then the wolf is disabled. And the uh, boss is disabled. All right, Hypnotic Pattern states that it lasts one minute, and each creature in the area um, who failed their wisdom saving throw is charmed. While they're charmed, they're incapacitated and have a speed of zero. Spell ends if an affected creature takes any damage, or if someone else uses an action to shake them out of their stupor. Um, the hooting, it's me conveying a message to Gavin, which he is aware of. And I point to Pockets. Can Gavin fly to Pockets? Wake him out of the stupor, or at least help him wake out of the stupor, no. and Gavin, then fly back? Gavin couldn't take an action like that. that. I don't think that would be... I don't think that would be something he could do. Let's see. I mean, he can aid. He can help. He can also attack. I mean, if he no. has to go to initiative one... Fam familiars can attack. That's absolutely not true, what you just said. They can attack? They but cannot they attack. Um, I'm gonna they say can, because it's they, a, they can aid, they cannot attack. I'm gonna say because it's a combat related like action that you're trying to do here. Um, actually, d tell me how it's happening, and we'll we'll decide based on your description. Um, basically, he would fly to the target and do kind of like a wing buffet, like on him. Basically, kind of hitting him, slapping him out of the stupor, and then he would fly back. Okay. All right. Uh, I know what I'll do on that in, in regards to that. Perfectly fine. Okay, so it goes to the wolf, who is currently incapacitated. Um, save does not refresh. Uh, only if damage is taken. Or Okay. All right. Uh, it'll go to the gladiator, who is also uh, in a stupor. Uh, all right, bar. Okay. So I get to do amazing, amazing things. First off... Uh, Typhon, how badly are you hurt? Um. Uh. Um. But yeah, he's looking like he took a. You gotta talk. Okay. Ladder and so, out the mic. Oh, so first sorry, things first. To, okay. I'm I'm debating whether or not to healing word you, but I'll do this instead. There you go. Have fun with bardic inspiration, and then I shall. Uh. That's also a bonus action. Why is that a bonus action? Damn. These maneuvers suck. Alright. 
Uh, my other action is to... Yes, I'm gonna... <clears throat> ah, damn. Why did I choose shit spells? All those, uh... All those assholes reckless attacked, right? Uh, yeah, they they all attack. Let me check this for a sec. Don't have advantage. Uh. Damn, damn. Blade Ward would be nice if I could give it to someone else. That would be amazing. Well, it would be super amazing if she did something. Uh... And got the fuck on with it. Alright, can I, uh, I'll use Mage Hand and, uh, drop a flask of oil right there. Okay. And that's my action. Just throwing a flask of oil. Not throwing it, Mage Handing it. Okay. Right there. Or I guess I could drop it from a height and splash it on the ground. I think it's, yeah, I'll drop it from up high so it actually splashes around. Fire in the hole. Okay. Um, so you just mage handed it over there and there's a thing of oil. That's it. Yeah. Okay, great. Fenmar, you're a bear. It's the likelihood that a bear can squeeze through this. You're medium sized, so you're just a little bit bigger than a regular person. Like, don't think like the biggest of grizzly bears you've ever seen. Think of like those I'm adorable bears adorable. at circuses. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're a you're a black bear. You're an adorable little bear. Yeah, if you All pop right, so I'm going into it, you can squeeze, and at that point, if your speed is thirty, it becomes ten within, so you can move right to about there. Hell yeah. yeah. Alright, and that's it. Squeezing is your action. Alright. Fuck yeah. Pockets. You kind of see this just mm -hmm. weird pattern appear, and you're kind of just staring at it, and then this bird's like in your face, and it's like the movie Labyrinth. You're like, well, is there a bird in my face? <laughs> you're cool. Did, did, did you see this? You're cool. You're cool. You're cool. You're cool. <laughs> the, the bird's still flying over your head, but you're totally cool at this point. You can do what you like. <sighs> you see that there are two berserkers who are doing basically what you feel you were doing a second ago, staring <laughs> off at where the pattern appeared. Uh, there's a wolf doing likewise. Um, so basically, yeah. the three enemies at the top are all stunned, and the ones at the bottom are not. Two at the two of the three at the bottom are not. Uh, oh, the two, the two directly in front of me. Okay. Yeah. So is uh, the guy right next to Typhon, uh, is he still under the disadvantage? He looks like he is to... not affected at all. He's still focused on killing Typhon. But does he look like he's completely wide open due to how he attacked? If they're yeah. recklessly attacking, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. I shall stabby stabby him with uh, Lucille, or no, Selena Stiletto. Okay, that'll hit. Nice. Sneak. Darn it, it's not a 19. Uh, sneak attack... It, oh, and well, and that, we already figured out I hit, so I'm not going to say anything. Oh, uh, wait. Sorry, just checking. When you hit w w a creature with a weapon attack, you can expend one superiority to attempt to disarm the target, forcing it to drop your item. So I'll perform a disarming attack against him. Okay. Um, and that goes to the damage. And I also uh, sneak attack. And then... Um, to coup de gras that whole sort of spiel, I will then bash him with my shield. 
Oh, and shove him, or just uh, he drops try knock, to him, him down. knock him prone. He drops his weapon, takes a bunch of damage, and he falls over. Wait, hold on. He may not fall over. Hold on. Gotta do something real quick. Uh, and Typhon, feel free, to, you, feel free to use free object interaction to try and kick his sword away, or his battle axe away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Into the crevasse, so he can't fight with it. Oh my gosh, you're okay. totally right. So, you'll knock him over. Nice. Oh, t t Typhon, while he's down on the ground, why don't you kick his weapon away so he can't use it? All right, Typhon. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, exactly what I'm going to do. I'm basically use my movement to no, you're kick not. his weapon behind You're going to use your action to kick his weapon away because it's a goddamn great axe. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, fuck that noise. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. I it's not like it's a dagger or a rapier. You're like, well, oh, boot? I have eight, eight guys. It's... I'm not that smart. <laughs> um, so... Hey, miss hit. Okay. And then... Going to... Uh, oh, 18 damage. Still standing. Well, he's... Um, so, no. Well, okay. Still alive, then, nerd. Um, all right. Bonus action. Okay. How many of those do you even have left? Um, one of eight. I bought more, which was. Okay. Uh, was that any stole from people? Oh. Anywho, the uh, Berserker that is prone um, will get up, um, and uh, as he's getting up, he'll pick up his axe. Uh, but he doesn't need it. So he's going to go ahead and uh, not recklessly attack. He's just going to push Typhon into the hole. Make an athletics check. 25 for me. Why do you have advantage? Because I'm a Berserker. Is he reckless? Oh, you're reckless. raging. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Nobody puts Typhon. I put Typhon in a corner, bitch. Alright. Wait, what's the druid doing in the wall? He's crawling through. He was trying to get to you guys. He's not in the wall. Did He's he... in the crevasse. He's making his way. Wild shape into something? He's a bear. Yeah, there's a big fucking bear behind you. <laughs> Crazy. Um. Mind is blown. <laughs> the bear gives you a thumbs up. Smiles like everything's okay. Alright, so this guy is going to go ahead and just shove the guy behind him. Um, looking at him like, Hey, I'm fighting these guys, get, back, get in the game! And he's like, oh, okay. And then he'll move so that he's adjacent to pockets. The uh, other guy, who was just awakened, um, I'm not going to do the whole I decide what the order is thing. I'm just going to say that this is the one guy who got to go instead of knocking them all out like some jackass DM would do. I think one's fair. Uh, he's going to run over to the gladiator, and he's going to use his action to wake up the gladiator, who will be able to act on his turn. Cardiff. Um, hmm. Looks kind of difficult to actually hit this guy, correct? Through oh, the, the a, if you're firing a range attack, it's damn near impossible. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you're casting a spell that's a touch spell, though, you could do it from Gavin, who is currently overhead pockets. I'm going to burn uh, just one. Okay. So you're just shooting the first guy, then? Yeah. Okay. He takes the three shots. Doesn't seem too worse for wear. Uh, he's bleeding a little bit, though. All right. Um... The wolf just stares at where the hypnotic pattern appeared and keeps watching that space. Um, the gladiator, now awakened, will use uh, her action to squeeze. Uh, I need the bear and Typhon to make a strength saving throw, please. Oh shit, all that stuff, like, that's... Saving throw? Strength saving throw from the bear and from uh, Typhon. Uh, Kevin, 
are you making that with yourself or with the bear that I gave you in the assets folder? With the bear, I just clicked okay. on strength. Is that the same as a saving throw? It doesn't have any proficiency. So yeah, that's perfect. Um, both of you are fine. You're not restrained. You're not taking any damage. Uh, but you are going to have to continue to squeeze to get through. Um, she seems annoyed and just kind of drops the device and goes for her weapon. It doesn't seem to be doing what she wants it to. Barn, you're up. All right. Uh, I'm going to retrieve a torch from my bag. Mm -hmm. And light it as an action. And light it as an action. Great. He has a lit torch, guys. Uh, how's Typhon doing? Is he getting his ass kicked I'm, pretty hard? I'm doing okay. He's stuck. He's stuck in the you know space, but like he's he's okay. not dying. Uh, Fenmar, there's a Typhon in front of you, which means you cannot pass. Typhon's black ass is blocking you your black out? bear ass. Shove me out of the hole. Shoving, <laughs> shoving is an action you could take. You could shove can I, Yeah, can I, like, put my bare hands on him? Sure. And, like, throw him behind me? No, not behind you. put my bare hands on him. Oh, no, no. Me. Not behind you. No, 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 no. You can push him forward or nowhere at all. I could push him into the shit. Push yeah. him into the shit. You could push him into the shit. Push him into the shit. Oh, baby. You're going in. <laughs> That's our type of blogs. Wrecking fools. How do we do this, John? What do you need? You're gonna you're gonna either ask Typhon if he wants to go, and if he says, "Yeah, I'm good," um, then you can. I can't uh, talk, dude. Oh, then uh, out of character. Um, okay, so Typhon, you feel the bear pushing you forward. Do you allow him to push you forward, or do you resist? Can't hear you. Idea. <laughs> oh my God! What is wrong with your mic? Oh, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, it's the worst. I love you. Um, but yeah, what did you say? Ah. <sighs> nope. I can't hear you, dude. Can anybody hear him? Am I losing my kid? Okay. Uh, Chad, go to your settings in the little cog at the bottom there, and then click on voice and video. And then it should be in voice activity. Scroll it so it's all the way down a bit so we can hear it. Or click the push to talk option. Or leave the voice server and join it again. Nothing. I take that as a, if you want to resist, click the roll, roll athletics. If you don't want to resist, don't click anything. And bear, uh, just roll athletics for the lulls. Uh, here it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Chad, if you can hear me, leave the voice server. Oh my God, what is... Got multiples. I'm back. So did the bear get in that ass or not? For just speed's sake, yeah. Um, push. Um, and uh, Typhon goes in directly against the Berserker. Um, because there really isn't much in the way of positioning, um, Chad, if you can hear me, I do need you to make a uh, athletics check um, because you're now resisting the Berserker. And because of your movement into his space, he will get an opportunity to attack against you. But depending on the result of this athletics check determines how that goes. So, Chad, if you can hear me, can you hear me nod your head? Okay, great. You, you you did it. I win. So, as you're being pushed in towards him, he puts his great axe haft onto the back of your head and pushes you down with the bear pushing you in. 
and you're now prone in the Berserker's space, and in response, he just drops the axe down into you. He has advantage because you're prone. He has advantage because he's a Berserker. He's not recklessing. Oh, he's not. No, why? Might, as, might, as, might as well save your I, was, I guess. What? what did the, I must have missed it. So the Berserker had picked up his axe after I just Yeah, him. as he got up, okay. he picked it up. Cool. 21 misses still. <laughs> So you turtle shell, you are currently in the same space as the Berserker, um, and the bear is directly behind you. Uh, you're actually, that Kevin can move? His action was sh uh, shoving, so he can't move at all. Because right. um, squeeze is an action. All right. I'm just curious. Right. Are you just, like, pushing the entire time? No, he can't follow through. Um, okay. It'll go to pocket. Um, Pockets will seek to attack uh, the guy currently block blocking Typhon's position um, with uh, he will f mm -hmm. I'm just going to make a straight attack because I want to use my shield master for something else. Darn. Okay. Um, yeah. I nine misses. You bring the dagger up and you kind of swing it in um, and he kind of like is being, you know, victorious as he smashes into Chad. He kind of turns and looks at you, and he just luckily, luckily lifts his axe head to block the dagger uh, just in time. Alright, we're going to do this okay. then. We are going to action surge, sure. and we are going to attack again. Okay. Uh, that'll work. Nice. Uh, now he's... Hold on. So he's prone, so... Oh, no, he, he's not giving me any... He No, he still can attack. Yeah, he's still giving you. That's fine. Oh, okay. So you stab him. Um, after the dagger kind of glints back, you kind of, ah, uh, and bring the dagger back in and catch him in the shoulder, just in the clavicle. A bit more blood starts to flow from him. Okay. And then I, fo I follow that second strike with a bash of my shield. Let's hope I can roll athletics as good as I've been doing against Typhon. I sure can. He blocks. Dang it. I tried to push him back, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. They're nothing but athletics machines. Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. Fucking finally, jeez. So perfect timing. It's your up. Am I? I'm still prone. Yeah, and you are currently in a space where you cannot get up. There is nowhere to go. So your only options are crawl. That makes your turn really easy, I think. You cannot crawl... You can crawl back into the space you were just pushed out of. Okay, and still not stand oh. up. You can crawl underneath the Berserkers or underneath the Wolf. Your call. Um, the only space that's really available for you to crawl to and get up is behind pockets over to the side. I really wish I could throw a fireball in this room, but I won't. <laughs> hey, man, it won't bother me none. Because if I can pass that saving throw, I can take no damage. Due to but, shit Chad, if you don't... Are you talking right now? We can't hear you again. Okay. Discord's being really weird. Fair. Just talk louder and do what you need to do so I can hear you. Have you decided on... You're crawling over behind pockets. Perfect. And as part of yes. your movement, you're getting up. That's fine. So crawling speed... Attack. 5, 10. So you have 5 feet of movement. You stand up and you're going to make an attack against one of the Berserkers that are dazed or one of the berserk the Berserker that you've all been focusing on. Okay. Go ahead. That works. Your attack. Chad. That 
that'll hit, that'll hit. And in those glorious fashions, you attack. That's it, right? Nod your head very big if it's done. I attacked and then I drank a potion. I don't know how you guys can have both these windows open at once. It's absolutely annoying. Because we're amazing. So anyways, uh, in, the, in the most glorious of fashions, you attack him and do just enough damage to make him giggle. Um, and uh, it goes to them. He... And by he, I mean this guy over here. Who's been waiting and waiting and waiting to do it. Runs back over into the fray and smacks his friend out of his freaking reverie. Just like he was supposed <laughs> to do. The guy goes, huh? And the guy looks and he goes, they did it to you. And he goes, ah. And he turns around and he fights. <laughs> I can't wait to cast it again. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna go all three of these attacks are going to be on pockets. <laughs> Good night, guys. So 18 points of damage for that one. And does 17 hit? Uh... Yeah. No. Okay, so just the one. 18 points. <laughs> Five health. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cardiff. Wait, why eight, 18 points? Because I crit. Oh, from the crit? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, um... What, um... I stored a healing spell in Ty this ring. Typhon takes the damage. Uh, pockets. Hey. You take none. And then, oh, Cardiff, nice. you were saying? Well, if he didn't take any damage, it's going to change what I'm going to do. But just for reference, like I, I stored a level 2 healing spell from uh, fucking Corky. What would his level 2 healing spell be? Like, it's in my ring. Cure wounds. My, uh, cure wounds. Touch spell. Touch spell. Fuck it, I'll use it anyway. I'll, I'll burn it. Uh, Gavin uh poops on him, and he gets 2d yep. plus um, yeah. Corpheus's charisma, or is it yours? I think it would... What does it say on the it's ring? Storing, it's storing his spell. Well, what so it, it would be... Ring? Here... Spell save DC Probably tech original bonus. caster, so yep. it would be plus 4? No, hold on. Lelavos has a. Sorry, it's loading. No, you're fine. Uh, plus three. So 2d8 plus three. Cool. You get eight hit points back, Typhon. Not Typhon. Pockets, right? Which one did you go? Cool. Pockets. Okay. And that's it from you, right? Yes, that'd okay. be my action. Dire Wolf is still really just jazzed about what's going on here. This is the fourth turn that he's been chang just or no third turn that he's just been chilling. All right, he's go not going to be happy. Gladiator, who? Um, I'm serious. Pockets, you need to get out of there, and Cardiff just needs to fireball in the whole area. He can fireball the whole area anyway. I can take no damage. I get evasion from Shieldmaster. That's that's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Shieldmaster is pretty good. <laughs> All right. Um, she is going to just grab the reins of the uh, or grab the like head of the direwolf and kind of pull at him. Um, yeah, it's incapacitated. She is technically using an action to uh, bring it back to its being. She looks at it and pulls it away. And she yells in its face something in giant, to which the giant speakers understand, Go and mourn your master! And they come. Oh, that's not good. And then she'll step in, and seemingly with a surge of action, will attack pockets. At 
this fucking thing will load. Okay, great. Um, she has a spear in hand, um, and she has a shield um, on her arm. Um, she's going to go ahead and lead in with a shield bash. <laughs> Miss. Um, and then she'll just go in with two spear attacks. She'll miss all three of them. All three of the attacks. Yay. Not a fan. All right, Barn. Okay, my nice little torch will be mage-handed to right there. As you move it through the chasm way, um, you see that the fire starts to sputter out. Roll a D100. D100? Mm -hmm. It's really cold out, remember? Okay, the fire makes it. You get it over there. You like the oil on fire. Whoosh! Sure. Um, everybody in... So just that one person within five feet of that space is going to go ahead Him and... Him too. Who? Oh, sure. Um, they're going to roll a uh, dexterity save. Uh, you're going to roll a d6. Cool. Set the DC for 13. I feel like that's more than fair. They'll both take six points of fire damage. As the oil And they're on fire! No, they're not. The they oil are. is. It doesn't shoot the oil up at them and cover them with oil. What the hell? She walked through it! She walked over it. She didn't walk into she didn't like roll around in it. She didn't barrel roll through the oil. Her feet are slightly Is alive. she wearing clothes? Is she wearing clothes and it's splashed all up onto her? No. Is she walking over oil? Yes. There's fire at her feet. She's not coated in oil. So She's her not, boots are on fire. She is not. Dance. Dance. There's a snake in my boots. And she's fine. Uh, and I can see Pat. I, I can't see Typhon. So, d does someone want a healing word? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I hate you, Ian. I fucking hate you. Like, I can't your, see you. Your, You're off to the side. Your big budget um, plan was light a flask of oil on fire in an extremely cold area. We're level six. Uh, we're level six and you're using oil flasks. Might as well just hey, throw a belt in the helicopter blade, man. Just Jeez. Come and they're on. cheap. Right. <laughs> how much did your action? How much did the whole action economy you spent just cost? Three Take actions. Two actions. No, three. You had to light, no, three, three. Light the torch. Throw the throw the oil and then throw the fire. Oh, that's the sickest damage I've ever seen. On fire, three turns. Anyways, that uh, squares on fire. I'm taking that. Fenmar, oh, uh, yeah. you're still a bear. Um, if you're oh, going, I to, love you. Yeah. If you're going to squeeze through. I mean, I got nothing else. I'm not squeezing through there. I'll no. get killed. Talking to Kevin, if you squeeze through, you can get to the end position um, and be able to get out without squeezing next turn. But that next turn will have to be shoving the Berserker out of the way because he's blocking. Listen, can I get here and start attacking this first dude? No, because you're inside of a tight, narrow space and attacking you're the disadvantage. Well, you, uh, yeah, you can't attack, but it's a disadvantage. Sorry. Apologies. I said the thing wrong. I, I meant okay, to say. So how do I how do I attack with a disadvantage? Just, what do I got just make an attack. Uh, up at the top, actually, there's a, a little cog. Do you see it? On the top left? Sure. Click the cog, and then on the right side, there should be a roll two option. Click the roll two, and then switch back to core, and then click on the attack. And it should roll two dice, and the lower of the two will be the one we take. Okay, hold on. Click the cog. Where the fuck is roll two? On the right side, top right. Should have a bunch of rolling options. One of them is roll two. Do you see it? Got you. Great. Click that. And then click on core again. And then go to the attack and roll it. Well, like, is there any way I can get into that square or no? I'm just fucked. I have to attack. You have to attack from a disadvantage. Next, I mean, you could try and shove it, I suppose. But all you're really doing is pushing it into another berserker or pockets. And that shove is your attack. It's just pray to the heart of the cards, dude. I get, at least I get two attacks. Damn.
Dang it, she didn't even see me. I was like this. John flipped you off. He said you're... That's the name of this, John. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. If Can you, you hear if, me now? If you could see the Twitch chat, Dan, you'd, you're be, such a dork. you'd be laughing. <laughs> Me, me and Joe are roasting her. Anywho, uh, and Mara, oh, is attacking normal, you, you are attacking with both your attack. Okay, so the bite will hit, um, the claws will not. Um, but you bite into his shoulder and kind of pull him into the crevasse and try and claw at him, but you miss because he just falls limp in your teeth and uh, is dead inside of your mouth. Think of like a trap. Kevin a, a, loves a, it when they go limp in his A team. trap door black bear is what just happened. You just snapped out of the hole and. <laughs> All right. We discovered a brand new species. Um, you you aren't using your action to squeeze, so you can't move. And then pockets is up. All right. Oh, cool. That guy's dead. Um. Hmm. Does uh. Does this one look like they see? So, so the the chieftain, whatever head person, uh, they have a spear and a shield in their hand currently. Correct. So it does not look like they have whatever the device is that they use to they make drop, the. They dropped it. Awesome. Oh, they dropped it. Oh, and can I see it over here on the floor? Yeah, it's yeah, over there. It, 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 it just looks work. like a strange kind of lever device. So you gonna pick it up and start using. <laughs> Yeah, fuck that That's bear. I don't know how to use it, so I'd probably end up just squeezing people instead of opening up the cavern. <laughs> I don't know if it works that way. <laughs> uh, I will... Um, and so this guy is still unconscious, basically, but this guy's up and about. Correct. Alright, I'll go for this guy. Um, we're going to go to attack him and lead off with a bash of the shield. This is against the Berserker to the north, correct? Uh, yeah, directly north of me. Okay. Uh, that'll... Oh, I gotta... Hold on. You win! Woohoo! He is now prone. Okay. Um, and so I will come in, uh, follow that up with a stab of Selena. That'll work. Ah, oh, one off from a crit. Sneak um, attack. and I shall sneak attack him. And... Bonus action. I'm not going to move anywhere, so I'm okay. good. Sure, no problem. Um, type in. You're up. I'm just going to wail on the guys on the ground. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> That's why I do what I do. That'll work. And that'll work. We'll go to that. Pocket. Um, you were going to say something? Oh, pockets of soot. So, Typhon, what, what, what about this ring you gave me? I'll explain later. <laughs> uh, wake up that guy over there and get away from that fire. Yay. And then smash, smash, smash. Should be a total of three attacks all against uh, pockets. Yeah, pockets. Gonna hate life right now. <laughs> that hits. Hey, that misses. 18 damage. That... Sorry, I was hitting the wrong button. I'm going to take... Uh, what, he took 7 damage, right? From the first one, yeah. Did any of the other ones hit? Yeah, well, again, play by play without looking at the dice rolls. He gets hit, what happens? Okay, you take the 7, then miss, then hit. He takes 11. So you took 11 pockets and type in, you took 7. Great. And then it'll go to the wolf. The wolf rushes towards these doors, which are made out of amber, and quickly brushes through them. You see blackness beyond, and they quickly shut behind him. Uh, guys, we're in trouble. These wolves know how to open doors. Fuck. Cardiff. We just need to set the whole place on fire and come back tomorrow. Fireball! 
Uh, I mean, I don't know if I want to fireball. We pretty much won this encounter. Be a big waste. Whatever you do, do it. Or do not. Is that I rolled magic missiles to me five. Yeah, I said myself. No, to, me, keep to it? me. You rolled it to me because you're a nerd. Did I really? Okay. Yeah. On the one that <clears throat> old boy pockets has been gouging and stabbed. Actually, the the boss lady hit it with the boss lady. Okay. Because that's who he attacked last. Is right? that is that your final answer? Yeah. All right, it'll go to the boss lady, um, who is going to. Um, change her grip on the spear. She looks like she's now using it at a reach instead of uh, normal distance. And she's going to stab in at that damn bear. She'll take three attacks at it. Oh. Attack number one. Uh, no. You're at disadvantage. Or I have advantage against you because you're currently squeezed. So 26 hits. Uh, 20 hits. Uh, how many hit points does that black bear have? 19, dude. Well, welcome to being a person again. And take two damage. And I'm going to go ahead and just finish off the blow because I don't see a change in it. Uh, real Fenmar takes 14 more. So a total of 16 damage to the damn Wilden who's stuck in the hole. Dang. All right. Dags. Varn, you want to go for another... Um... Oh, oh, sorry. Roll a d6 for me because she willingly stood next to the fire. Ooh. That follow-up damage. She takes three damage because she can't stand the heat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. You get, uh, John, you John I use Mage Hand and splash the oil over at this guy. Which oh guy? God. That guy? So you're just yeah. like moving more, making a bigger fire? Is that what we're doing here? Yeah, I'm just... Okay. Well, my range attack is crap, so I'm just splashing oil everywhere now. Burning oil with Mage Hand. Sure. You, you have another flask of oil that you can throw at it? Yeah, I got some oil. Yeah. Oh, you're trying to... Oh, oh, I can do a mage hand. Wait, 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 hold on. Shh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I want to talk to Ian for a second, because I want him to realize how dumb what he just said is. You want an incorporeal hand to pick up a liquid and splash it... I don't want it to it. pick it up. I just want it to splash. Okay, okay, so it, it goes... Psh, 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 and there's like a little split, spritzer of, of, of oil, because it's not like... Burning no. oil. No, there's like a, a little embers bounce off of the ground as you waste your action. I'm right, so, uh, are these I'm done with uh, you. actually hay bales, John? Uh, no, they are bedrolls. Bedrolls? Yeah. Ooh, so they're cloth? Do they weigh less than 30 pounds? I already, I'm already done with you. I already, I already. Get, I, already I want to drag done. it through the oil to, the, to this on, guy. On your next action, you can. <laughs> this, this, this turn, you were doing water sports. <laughs> I have like crap range attack, so it's just like I'm back here. I'm I'm not gonna wedge myself in there, guys. Sorry. Oh, Fenmar, you're up. Everything I do is a disadvantage from here. I'm just pretty fucked. Um you are currently squeezing. If you want to take the action squeeze, you can move ten feet back, ten feet forward. Um, you can't take any action or any spells that have somatic components because there's nowhere for you to move your hands. And, excuse me, if you attack, you have disadvantage. An open spot for you. Might as well just get it in. That's what she said. Work for me. You said the turtle mode and crawl around. <laughs> Like literally turtle up and turn into a tortoise. I guess I'm just running away. What? All right. I mean, I can't. I can't cast anything. Hey, you're cool, like, man. I'm... You're fun. You're cool, dude. It's all good, man. I just find the whole situation we find ourselves in hilarious. Because <laughs> I'm probably gonna I mean, die. We're, we're okay. We're okay. What's happening? Kevin's crawling uh, out. I'm gonna heal myself one time. Does your spell have somatic components? He's moved. I can't but... heal over here? Oh, no, no. If you squeeze, that's your action. So unless you have a oh. healing spell that's a bonus action, you're done. I do. Okay, then you can use a bonus action healing spell. That's fine. Great. Pockets. All right. Um... 
let's just go with the guy that's getting trashed to try and reduce numbers. Uh, is he back on his feet again, I'm guessing? Um, oh. no, they haven't had a turn yet. Oh. Uh, Wait. well, you know... No, they have had a turn he... yet. They got up. Yeah, okay. I'm actually not going to shield best because I want my bonus action for something else. They all attacked recklessly, though, by the way, so... Oh, awesome. Sadly, I didn't crit. Okay. Um, but we will... Sneak attack. Pfft, that's pathetic. Uh, and since I'm not actually... Bloody. We will disarm him. So he no longer has a weapon in his hand. Uh, if he doesn't make the save, yeah. Oh, right. Correct. I forgot that part of the save. He didn't make the save. He dropped the weapon. Woohoo! Uh, and then I shall, as a bonus action... The object on. lands at its feet! Does it hit his toe? He rolled a one. No, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> if, you, if you read the way it's written, it's fee. Oh, I need to oh, edit that. <laughs> nice. Uh, Pockets just starts breathing really heavily. <laughs> Ooh, he's, he's pumped. Uh, That's I'm pumping says. himself up. And right. gets only five health. Typhon. I rolled terribly. I really need to fix lay on hands. Just tell him how many points, or tell yourself how many points instead of clicking buttons. Lay on hands is one of the Get easiest abilities to just speak over. Well, it's not the hardest thing ever. Oh, I keep meaning to take the S off the end. Oh, right. You do need to do that. That's true. That's true. Anywho, who's getting 20 hit points? You or Pockets? It'd be a waste to be. Okay, okay good. All right, and then no movement or bonus actions. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, shit. I hit you a bunch of times and didn't make you roll concentration because I'm a loser, so don't worry about it. But this time. Wait, I didn't do damage to you. Never. You've been beating up on pockets. That's right. That's what I'm killing. He keeps taking the damage. I wonder how... Yeah, I guess that would work because you're forcibly taking the damage yourself. You would still need a concentration check for that. Anywho. Not important right now. I'm going to smash... No, I was, I was making them. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, I guess I did see con constitution checks. That's fine. What a good player. What a horrible DM. All right. Axes. Yeah, let's do this. All of them. No more bullshit. It's all four of them on pockets. Yay. <laughs> I'm going to die. Ooh. Oh! That's okay. a spicy meatball. If okay, you have a reaction, so... you're taking one. It's got to be the first one, Chad, because you weren't saying Why that. don't you dodge? So, Chad, you're going to take uh, 17, and Pockets, you're going to take 25. So, before I take that 25, though, uh, what was the order that they were attacking me in? Uh, left to right. So, top left, top middle, top right, bottom right. Dang. So, okay, so top middle was the one that we've been beating up on actually hit me. Yeah. So, um, we're going to go with uh, this guy, because why not? Uh, I'm going to, right after Typhon takes that damage for me, I'm going to repose that guy. If they miss, you attack back. If I hit. Mm -hmm. All right. So... so Oh, and shit, that was the wrong one. I should have attacked this guy so I could get sneak attack damage. Oh, well. Hey, yeah, John, did you attack use... the guy who dropped his weapon? Uh, he would have picked it up and stood up. Would that have taken his action? Picking up an app, a weapon is Oof. the same as drawing a weapon. Kicking it across the floor is a bit different. I would hope you would agree on that. <laughs> okay. So... Uh, 14 damage to uh, top right. Top right. Got it. And then something really funny happens. What happens? <laughs> I'm at zero health. So exactly. The first one swings and misses. <laughs> Second one hits. Divine uh, intervention, or allegiance rather, blocks into it. Chad feels the pain instead. You get attacked by the next one and are busy fencing with him and stabbing him a bit as the next one comes in and just cleaves into your side and you fall to the ground. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> All right. 
Cardiff. Uh. Well, <clears throat> is any of them bloody in there? Uh, yeah, the uh, the one that they were attacking at, the one you magic missile just a minute ago, yeah. Same one. Yep. Eight damage. Okay. Yep. Still standing. Motherfucker. Um, Typhon, um, you see the gladiator lift up her spear, and she looks at you. One chance. Surrender. And she holds react. You can tell that she is prepared to stab him three times if you do not surrender. Death saving throw, death saving throw, death saving throw. So, if you don't surrender, she says, after that, she says, lay down your arms. Typhon immediately starts having flashbacks to Sir Gregory and the giant. God damn, Tim. <laughs> Typhon keeps getting your characters killed, bro. Varn, are you still going with the pickup? But you, you hear everything that happened, but are you still going with the plan of pick up the thing and throw the fire against the people? Uh, no, I'll actually oh. go uh, Healing Word and Commander Strike on Patches. Pockets? <laughs> pockets? Because he's got so many fucking holes in him! <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> in Seave? I believe that's his name now. Okay. Uh, the pockets uh, now. So hold on, them. I gotta... So they need patches? I, 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 got, I got your... I think I'll put your button down. There you go. Five hit points, pockets. Take them count. Alright, looks like her reaction is based on Typhon's uh, uh, action. So, Fenmar... Oh, uh, Commander Strike. Commander Strike. Oh, sorry. You're making someone attack? Yeah. Pockets. Oh. <laughs> po pockets. Um, uh, go ahead and click co Commander Strike. We need help. Uh, uh, so we can see see that go. Do, do you have that as a thing? You get a D8 to your attack roll. You can make an attack roll from prone. There's a damage. Disadvantage. And it's uh, to the damage. To the damage roll. <laughs> Just think about what Ian's making you do. You don't have you to go back to life. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, Tim. You do not have to take the. You do not have to take a, a command, but you have an attack. You will have disadvantage for the attack because you are attacking from prone, and if you hit, you'll do an extra D8 damage. Um. But this is gonna beat your ass three times. Pockets. And if you hit, you'll get sneak attack damage. Now that pockets is oh never mind I can't it's when I take the attack action as a bonus action oh I no yeah okay never mind never mind uh, okay just oh, the heels mind. just the heels okay just the heels all right pockets it, or Fenmar it's you're up what are you doing okay you know the uh, the bag of fucking shit I have bag of animals is uh -huh. it possible to throw something through this crack or no I'd allow it you throw really it right on top difficult. of that corpse that's fine. It's about 10, 15 feet. The thing that you're throwing is going to sprawl out and become big at the end of it. So imagine like um, like uh, fucking Narnia or some shit like that. Some movie where, you know, animals like whoop out of, you know, things. That's fine. What animal do you want? Can we clog this hole anymore? What'd you say? Sorry, Kevin. There was an uh, unrespecting uh, Dan talking. What were you it saying? It says I have to roll a D8 and roll. one is a jackal. Oh, so you're throwing a jackal? It's so, a jackal! Yeah. Is it a jackal? It's a jackal, right? Of course is I it, roll a one, is too. Is it a jackal? Oh. Can I bonus action healing word myself as well? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm assuming I can't see them. Jackal summoning is not a spell, so... Hell yeah. It is Pocket's turn. Uh, but there will be a jackal in that space. Um, okay, so, uh, I'm trying to figure out if I can feasibly actually do what I want to do. Uh, so it'd be half my movement to, uh, stand up, correct? Mm -hmm. Then, um, as my quote-unquote action, or is it possible with, like, the rest of my movement and, like, my free object interact to, with my action, throw my dagger out through the tunnel... Not to try to hit anything, just to throw it out there. And then... Which dagger? The stiletto? Right, the one I currently have equipped. Because okay. 
from what I gather, I couldn't throwing a dagger that. is an action. Right. If I could stow that dagger and draw another, and yeah. and can I or can I use? Can I stow a dagger as an action, and then with, like, object interaction, sort of like the draw with the, the rest of the dagger movement. and teleport? Is that what you're planning? Exactly, yes. Okay. Well, anyways, you stood up, which will, you know, spawn the, I have a spear over you, stab uh -huh. time. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, it's, the reaction is based you on... You need to stand up to teleport. Oh, oh so, okay. I was you thinking just, I had to, you just to disappear. But he already said what he was doing. I already said I was going to stand up, so... So three we'll stabs. we whatever happens. And Maybe she'll miss. In reaction to you standing. So here goes the uh, attacks with advantage. She hits with the last one. Damn it. Welcome back to zero. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'll be smarter next time. Okay, pockets are down. <laughs> Typhon, her basically her bluff has been not. It's not a bluff. It, it, she's legit, um, but she currently doesn't have her hand ready to do it. So, your call. What do you want to do? Or do you want to react to that and take the damage instead? I already did that this round, didn't I? No, because pockets hasn't taken damage this round yet. Okay, then yeah, that's exactly what I'll do. Oh, I still have five health. Yeah, I think that's fair. That sounds fine. And I'm sure yeah, sorry. Sorry, all I of our viewers... No, it's fine. It's cool. So you take the 8 damage, and then Pockets Missy steps to wherever he wants to go. Bye! <laughs> Pockets, Perfect. whoop! And now it's Typhon's turn. I finally dropped the uh, Shield of Faith. I know. Yay. <laughs> what are you doing, Typhon? <laughs> Looking pretty bleak. Oh, you got a you got an ally though. There's that jackal. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's just you and me, Jackal. The jackal gives you a thumbs up. <laughs> Jackal. Jackal looks over at you and he's like, he throws on shades and he's like, swag. <laughs> we got this. Brave, brave, Sir Robin. Kira wins as your action. Okay. Wow. That's what, 3d8? Uh, yeah, you rolled... Th no, it's 2d8. You rolled at what? Second level? Yeah, it's a second level. 2d8 plus your uh, charisma. You rolled 2, 3, and plus 3. Okay, that's your action. So a bonus action. And she, as a free action, will say, Offer still stands. Drop your arms. How does one drop their arms? <laughs> oh, sorry. Drop your arm. Yeah, hold no. <laughs> Literally, I was just about to be like, throws my sword on the ground, unstraps my shield arm. Just... Is that really what you're doing? How do I know I can trust you? You don't. How do I know I can trust a bunch of people who are trying to muzzy into our house? Typhon drops his sword. Okay. I was about to start countdown. Okay. You hear Lumiere hit the ground, everybody else. You can see the flames of it flicker as it leaves his grasp. It's still burning, but it's still sitting on the ground. The Berserkers all raise their axes and seem readied, but they don't attack. Uh, the best way I can kind of describe the uh, feeling that you're currently getting, the vibe, is remember when all of the fucking wraiths come at the hobbits and they're like ready to smash? Yeah, that's where we're at right now. Cardiff... It's all dependent on you, man. <laughs> uh, uh, so he casts Fireball. <laughs> okay. Um, Typhon, go ahead. Hellish, Hellish rebuke the Fireball. He can't. Why not? Hellish rebuke. Yeah, I already did. Sorry. 
But it's okay. I got another ace up my sleeve in case you knock my ass um, out. Hold on a second. Sorry, one second here. This is going to be fucking adorable. Hold on. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, oh, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Oh, it's safe. Oh. The jackal doesn't die. <laughs> the jackal lives, Kevin. The jackal lives. Hey, John, did she put her boots oh, out? Oh, uh, what? Her boots. Did she put them out? Okay, so it's really cold in here. If you're not standing directly adjacent to it, you're not taking damage from it. Is is what I'm what I'm telling you. <laughs> Except she Ian, is standing Ian, adjacent. Ian, it's always that I, I know you're really excited about that oil, bro, but it wasn't like. <laughs> it's great. Why'd you click it twice? Because I, I have really cool. I have really cool flavor in my. Yeah. I changed the spell. It's different. It's not fireball. Okay. It is so, so fire it's though. Cooler. So anywho, um, one of them dies instantaneously. Actually, no, he could potentially not die. Hold on. Wow, you rolled really bad on damage, bro. Yeah. Okay, Gladiator, or the leader, she fails. Uh, Berserker. One, two, three, four. Alright, the one that could potentially live doesn't. Um, the other ones are all alive. <laughs> Just a crazy cackle. Uh, do I need to make a saving throw as well? Yeah, you're in the effect. What about the jackal? Oh, jackal's fine. It's it's saved, but it's it, it has two hit points right. So what? Half of that would be fifteen. Uh, yeah, it's fire damage, so half of 20 is 10. The first one is 20. He rolled shit damage. He tried to sneak in another one, because he's a turkey. No, 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 I just wanted the text, and then, oh, really. Okay. That's fine. He, he, it's 20 damage for failure, so half of that because of resistance is 10. As a free action, she says, call them off, and you have one chance to say something. Type in. Typhon calls back down the tunnel. He says, Stop the attack! Stop the attack. It goes to her Stop action, surrender. and her spear comes up, and she gets ready and prepared just like the other berserkers. She looks at you. It seems like she's waiting for reactions. Um, they're going to react to basically what happens next. And so they're all waiting for her. Okay, so that was my action? Do yeah. I? Oh, wait, it's not my turn, so I can't ready any actions, can no, I? She was just talking to you, yeah. Varn, what are you doing? Uh, I will. Wait, does oh, that mean I also sorry. haven't spoken yet? Apologies. You can speak all you like, but she's walking away from you, but her spear is still up. She's still readying her action. And then as a part of her move, she's going to kneel down and grab the device. All right, Varnas, you're up. Uh, Varn gives some inspiring bullshit about how we will always have Typhon's back and we'll never leave him alone. There you go. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, so when you do so, it's just a friendly creature who you can see. Um, so Typhon gets four temporary hit points. All right, Fenmar, the uh, Jackal is ready to go. It didn't attack on the last turn. It could have, I guess, but, I mean, you know, it's better that it didn't. What do you want to do with the Jackal? I don't know. Are we, like, making peace with these dudes? It chills out. Okay. It comes over to me, and we bro out. I it's talk to it, because totally, I can only talk it, to animals. It's totally small, and it can totally... It, it's S-M-O-L, small, and it can totally get over to you. It's fine. And then, do you have anything that you want to do? Heal or anything like that? Yes, yo, I heal myself. Okay. Wait. Hold on. There's a dead body here. I can eat the dead body. 
Where's the dead body? Oh, it's all the- <laughs> We killed that dude. That's it's not weird. That dude. But you have to go get that dead body. It's all the way over there. That's okay. While they're discussing, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> it's, 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 an ac- it's an action to squeeze through the chamber just to get it's 10 feet. It could be a multi-turn thing. I don't okay. care. It's, it's, bas- it's basically a lantern oil and fire thing. Got it. Okay, cool. Pockets. You have one charge left in your Misty Dagger. And Typhon seems to be surrounded by ready to attack fun, fun times blades people. Oh, I didn't put in for that. That's what I'm doing. I'm drinking a potion. Oh, and and I, I say what I said. Oh, p- perhaps this was all. Uh, I'm sorry we killed your people. Uh, we were just trying to inspect the premises and. Uh, well, I guess. You guys attacked us first, or what have you, and uh, maybe we could just share a point and get along. Typhon, your turn. <clears throat> Typhon slowly raises his hand, he says, do you mind? Do we mind what? And he places his hand over his heart. Use the rest of your lay on hands? Yeah. That's, that's fine. You're not pulling anything out or anything crazy. It just to them looks like you're saying a prayer. All right, the berserkers maintain their readied actions. Cardiff. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> As the moat goes through before it actually triggers, all of the axes and the spear fly. Okay, because you've surrendered yourself, you're not raising your shield, correct? Uh, even if I didn't want to raise my shield, I can't put it down. Okay, so we'll go ahead and say you're at your normal 22 AC, or 23 AC. That's fine. Oh, is that all of them? One more. Damn. Of course it's a fucking crit. So, 12. And... Yeah. Take that much damage. Okay. And Cardiff, you're doing anything else? Uh, my time warp blast. That's all. I mean, that's my action. The gladiator squeezes the device. The path behind you becomes sealed. Oh. <laughs> Looks like you're about to get your wish. And, uh, she... Um, did they take damage from the fireball? Oh, yeah, they will take damage from the fireball, but saves first. keep on clicking five yeah that's fine okay so then that one would be two of them save one two die and then I failed so now I'm at zero and now I explode Yep, and the door is closed behind. Um, everything within five feet is taking seven, another dexterity saving throw. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that, just looking at it, it's not going to kill any of them, even if I, I'll just take the full brunt of it. That's fine. Um, it does put one pretty close, but it doesn't kill. So I'm just going to take the full brunt of that one. Just for flavor's sake. And then, um, when did you use that last, actually? You lose that when you got your arm bit off, didn't you? Yeah, that was the third. You haven't. It hasn't been a sixth day. 
isn't a six day six days? Correct. It wasn't the third. That was the ninth. No, no, no. no today's, the the today's the eleventh. There's no way it was the third session that you got your arm it, bit off. No, it was the third day. It was. There's no way it was the third day of Ryan that you got your arm bit off, because that would have been sortie three. I'm positive it was, because as I soon did. as I used that ring, I started counting days. Gotta sway, that's probably not it, but okay, fine, fair enough. So you use that and you auto stabilize, right? Yes. Okay, all right. Uh, Varn, there's a wall in front of you. I change anything. Varn, there's a wall in front of you. I've, I noticed that there's a wall in front of me. Cool. It's there, There's a wall. Cool. Uh, Fenmar, there's a wall in front of you. Oh, what's the wall made of? Stone. Oh, so it's like the, the walkway collapsed. No, it's like the walkway closed together. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's that's terrifying. Mm -hmm. I look at the jackal and I ask him, in jackal, what do you think of this place? This place sucks, bro. I don't like the slime. I agree. I feel sad. As well you should. Um... Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, Gavin's dead. Also, by the way. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He blew Gavin away. Well, he's not dead. Oh, yeah. No. He he he, he dissipated. He exploded they, for sure. They, they dissipate. All right. Uh, pockets. <laughs> there's a stone wall in front of you. Uh, what do you do? So, uh, I guess the diplomatic approach wasn't the one we wanted to take. Uh, uh, call 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 if uh. What do you reckon we do now, since this be your expedition and all? I'll just, uh, one moment of patience, you'll see here. Right, right then. Uh, just, uh, uh, cause, cause t Typhon's in there, and I, uh, I don't expect him to be long for this world. Precisely. We <laughs> you just wait and see. Okay. All right. Um... If you're watching the stream, you'll note that I blacked out the side with Typhon. He's going for a cigarette anyways, so I'll leave his fate to your imagination. Cardiff. Stuff here. Yeah, misty stuff. You can't see anything on the other side. It's completely sealed through. You have to be able to see the target to misty stuff. Really? Uh, Click the spell. It'll say to a location you can see. Oh. Around barriers, not through. And that's chromantic. That's chronomantic speed. That's not Missy, so it's different. Right. Hmm. Well, fuck. That was my only plan. I was trying to kill him before she closed the door. Yeah, you, well, didn't, you didn't even bloody her. Actually, you just bloodied her. Sorry. Okay. Great. Well, fuck. Yeah, he's had his arm missing since at least the 5th, John. Has he? So, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. He's stabilized. He's, he's, so. He burnt them to Krispy's Crisps. But they survived. Technically, aren't all those bedrolls on fire now, too, though? Cause of... Yeah, sure. I was going to drag <laughs> one of the burning ones over the over the but, guys. But the remember, players, it's really but... cold, so you're just making the ambiance of the place better. It's just the problem is now they don't have anywhere to sleep. But, but is it like, <laughs> like, like, like smoke and losing oxygen and all that fun stuff as well? Oh, yeah, they all suffocate. place is really well ventilated, actually. Darn. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. that was my only. That was that was my plan. I got fair, nothing. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna ask you guys what you plan on doing. Find another means to get in. Uh, Farn's gonna start digging through uh, the rock, using uh, pittens to to weaken it, and then yeah, uh, chipping off flakes. You get a couple of inches in a, a span of twenty minutes or so, maybe one or two inches. Of a gr uh, of of in ingress. Was it's it? another no. exercise in futility, Ian. Great. Hey, Varn's staying warm, guys. Uh, that's true. All right. <clears throat> and de definitely widening out this spot too, not just this little, you know, two foot 
like definitely full on five foot. Pockets also raises the point again <laughs> that he does have some alchemist powder, a horn of alchemist powder that potentially could be used. It'd be really alchemist. convenient if someone could turn into a badger and just start chewing through this rock with his nice little badger talons. I don't think badgers eat rock, do they? I don't think they chew through rock. Uh, I, I meant he would be burrowing through it with, you know, his burrow speed. His back feet. And, and, just, and just clawing all this rock out of the way the to, way to go through it. to break it? Is that what we've deduced? We're going through, man. I don't want to explore there. This seems like a terrible idea. Like, we know there, there's an entrance this way, and there's a door that leads further in on the other side of this wall. Like, if that's unanimously what you guys want to do, we can we can do something like that. But I don't want to get in another situation where we rush in and get boned. Yeah. I think Pockets is going to try and take a short rest while it goes on, so he can hopefully stamina. So Varn's going to dwarf the wall until such time as it's a, a five foot wide walkway. I'm going to like inspect the walls and make sure there's no like, I don't know, safety switch or something that opens the door, just in case. Not that you can see. If you make an investigation check, but it's futile. Because there isn't one. Plus, right. I'm spending my time doing it this moment until we find another route in. Fenmar's going to ask the group Do you guys want to dig your way through? That'll take forever. I mean. <clears throat> Unless you have a means to do so quickly. I wouldn't be digging by myself, let's just say that. Pockets from over on his side of the wall, wrapped in the blanket, trying to rest as much as possible, say, Well, well if it help, help, helps us save Typhon in any way possible, I, I say we try. He, he's been there for all of us in the past. We should be there for him. All right, let's dig through this fucking wall then. John, can I use conjure animals to summon eight giant badgers? <laughs> and we're gonna per like form a little like mining digging crew. You know what I mean? Sure. And we're gonna we're going through. We're organized, and because uh, I can talk to them, and we're going through. Okay. Yes. So you're summoning eight badgers and you're having them just charge through that same point and claw it out and widen it out so you guys can pass through easier. Yeah. Which would have been a great thing to do early on in the combat. Um, yeah, if we had, you know, discussed things. So, yep. All right. So Kind, uh, kind of something that I was trying to do when everyone just started there. Sure. Yeah. But, um, but some people rush forward and got hit by lots of axes to start. Yeah, I, I know how it went. I was there. I was watching. So yeah, Badgers charged through, man. Um, um, let me go ahead and uh, paint the picture for you because I'm assuming the, the, the 10 minutes we just spent basically long enough for Chad to go smoke a cigarette and a little thereafter for you guys to discuss that whole thing. It's probably about what happened in game time. You didn't just spring into your mind, oh, Badgers, because it totally should have been the thing you guys led with. Um, so they've had some time on the other side to uh, play around. Um, in, in the room that's on fire. Slightly <laughs> on fire. Probably stomped all the fires it's out. Okay, real quick, just just a heads up. It's negative 10 degrees in there. Okay? Yeah. Okay. And everything's kind of slick, you know, with like weird kind of grime and, and slipperiness. Oh, oh did Not the ice melt in there? Why does that matter? I'm just letting you know, like... You keep on saying, oh, this oil is going to be totally on fire, and there's splish splashing around, and you threw a flask, which is about yay big, and a soda pop bottle, onto the ground. It got one square on fire, and I did more than I should have in letting you yeah. do fire damage over time, yeah. Ian. I, I get it. I, I know that you want it to be more than it is, but I'm telling you, it's not It's not as good as you think. It's going to be a lot no, worse. No, they're actually terrible. So anyways, when you guys finally break through and get to the other side, what you see is they have... 
uh, removed Typhon's head uh, from his body in the 10 minutes it took you guys to get through, removed a lot of his armor off of his body. Um, it looked like they were in the middle of laughing at his arm. Um, and the lady who had a spear is now holding Lumiere. Um, she hasn't had time to fully attune to it, but she has it in her hand. And they look at you like, what the hell? As badgers come through, and then she says, if they could have done that, why didn't they start with that? Because they totally should have led with that. And I'm going to say that the badgers, for tokens purposes, um, are going to move off to the sides. I'm going to put the uh, I'm going to put the, the situation to you. If you guys all want to act right after the badgers finish their climb through, feel free to take actions. Go. Who looks bloodied in the room? Uh, how many of the berserkers are still left in the room? There are three, and there's a three. gladiator in there as well, the leader. All right. Uh, Does anyone look bloody or singed? Or or they all look beaten the fuck out of. They haven't had time to heal. Uh, I'll go right after these berserkers here. All right, you fire into the berserker that's closest, I presume. Whichever one looks bloodiest. Yeah, that would be the one that's closest. He dies. Uh, if I'm here, John, can I get both of them with uh, well, reach? Someone already clicked a thing, and he's down. That guy's dead. Those two are dead. The ones that you're trying to attack. The ones with X's on them are dead. So yeah, there are now two in the far back, and then the gladiators back there as well. So again, surprise. Pockets and barn. If you're planning to charge in and do stuff now, go for it. All right. Uh, if I'm here, John, can I hit both of these guys? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, one on the left. And one on the right. Okay, that'll hit. And that'll hit. So five and five. Wow, that was terrible. Action surge, do it again. No, that was it. I, I'm a level 5 fighter, not a level 6, John. Oh, okay. Someone clicked action. Oh, got it. You attacked. Got it. Um, level 5 is when you get extra attack, by the way. For realsies? I thought that was 6. Level 5. Oh, then hell yeah, I'll do it again. Yeah, yeah level 5. You're five and one, right? One bard. Uh, left and right again. Um, yep. And okay. Um, yeah. Um, Pretty decent attacks. Okay. Um, pockets, are you charging in or are you staying back? Uh, yeah, I'm guessing because of everything that hasn't been enough for a short rough. So no, I use the minutes. final charge of uh, Misty Dagger. And then I believe I have 10 feet of movement left. Mm -hmm. I move up uh, to this guy. Mm -hmm. um, and I will attack with Maggie Mist. Okay. For That'll hit. Seven damage. Sure. And they're surprised, so go ahead and do sneak attack damage. You just had a bunch of badgers rush in. And I'm probably going to die, but it's all good. It's worth mm -hmm. it. And Cardiff, did you have anything? Uh, I cast Magic Missile. Oh, that's right. For the surprise round. Um, they were giant badgers, right? Or just regular badgers? Kevin. That was a cat. Yeah, that is a cat. cat That's not a badger. It's a cat. I was going to assume they were giant because I don't think uh, regular badgers can do what you were asking. So that said, that's all you guys, right? Okay, initiative.
Okay. So the top of the initiative, it'll be pockets. All right. I will uh, bashy bash uh, the guy I'm at. Uh, 21. <laughs> um, yeah, you're knocking him over. Okay, hold on. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it, then... That's what the that athletic check was for, right? Uh, yes, yes, shield bash. Okay. Yeah, that works. He's done. All right, and then... Um, if I were to drop Maggie Mist, could I draw Selena and attack? Yeah, I'll allow it. All right, cool. So I drop, draw it, Selena, attack. Nice. Yeah! Sneak attack, uh, roll it twice. So, 22... Okay, that seems actually perfect. Um, uh, Chad, you're in GM mode. If you could just hover over that Berserker real quick on its hit point total, please. That would be lovely. Yeah, he does. He's got one left. <laughs> <laughs> See, um, I was thinking about using a superiority <laughs> die. I'm like, nah. He stands up and uh, he will attack you uh, recklessly. I eh, figured. Uh, this is going to be the funny part. Because um, there's even angrily that says, John DeFry sucks! <laughs> he, ch he tried to avenge you and he chatted. That's so fucking great. <laughs> there it goes. Take 14. And I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the uh, other Berserker will... Step in. Um, looks like he's kind of trying to round about uh, Barn and get an eye who's down the path. Um, but uh, as he moves into that position, the uh, girl yells something in giant. And Barn, you understand what she says. She says, kill the ones that are down. Leave no... If they're going to defeat us, let them leave with dead instead of wounded. And the Berserker will attack Pockets. <laughs> Bye, guys. So I have advantage on the attack. I just have to hit, and uh, it will do. Um, yeah, failed death saving throw for you. What's your maximum hit point or total hit points maximum? Hit point maximum is forty-two. Yeah, so there's not. I'm not going to be able to kill you outright. I'm going to have to peck at you down. That's fine. So I have two failed death saves. Uh, just one. I only attacked. I only meant to attack once. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, the first one was the one that knocked you down. The second one's the one that dealt this death saving throw. Oh, yeah. right. Barn. On pockets? Yeah, on pockets. Okay. Hey, you know that death saving throw? Don't worry about it. Three hit points Yay. for you, buddy. Uh, the far one, uh, the close one. Uh, right, that one the, was the one that was at one? The both hit. Um, the one that's far from you is the one that was at one. It dies. Oh. And the one that's close to you is at more than one. Still standing, just barely. All right, it'll go to the gladiator. Hi. First things oh. first, uh, one of these. Uh, that'll miss. And then I'll just go in with uh, spear attacks. I'm putting them down. Jeez, simmer down. It's going to miss and it's going to miss. miss. Uh, where are my badgers? Yeah, there should be like 15 of them, right? Eight. Eight. You didn't roll initiative, Fifth. Kevin. Squad. Badger squad. <laughs> it's the uh, Badger excavation team. Yeah, they pretty much just came in, and that's how they did it. Um, 
I'm assuming you're going to use them to fight, right? Hell yeah, I am, dude. Okay, we're going to say your initiative's on one, because you didn't roll initiative like a good boy, so. Sorry, I was getting pizza at the door. My bad. Pizza! All right, uh, the gladiator is a failure. Card if you're up. So I can now walk through this, correct? Yeah, it's perfectly clear. The batter's clear to that. Jesus fucking Christ. So many goddamn badgers. Um, so, magic missile and two targets. Two missiles are going to this bloody guy. Mm -hmm. And the last one. And one's... Yeah. Throw it. Uh, it, it, it's, it's really funny that this keeps happening. Seven minus six is Chad. Um, <laughs> guys are the fucking worst. Um, okay, great, great, great. Um, it'll go to Fenmar. Who's actually on the... It's on the, Badgers now. Yeah, the, the, all, bottom, the bottom of the account. All, all, badgers. all Badger time. Can I, uh, finally eat this guy's body? Uh, it's an action to do so, so, yeah, I presume that's fine. Yeah, I eat this guy's body, and I say, go get him, Badgers. Okay. Uh, who are the Badgers, <laughs> who are the Badgers going for? Damn, that's a big heal. Who do they go for? Uh, they... I'm gonna they do, go I'm gonna do four on, dude. four on this one, four on the other one, that's fine. Fuck it. You're not eating Typhon. Just, just saying that. No, right yeah, now. I'm not eating the. Okay. Don't worry. Just make sure. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh man. Yeah, dude. No, the I'm fucking powerful man. The the badger sheet didn't transfer over from. Oh, that is fucking horrid. Uh, uh, roll me one, two. Roll me sixteen d twenties. Just go into the macro. There you go. Perfect. Great. So miss, miss, miss. Hit, miss, 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 miss. Hit, crit. Miss, 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 hit, hit. So that guy's dead. And she's taking... I'm just going to use the average rolls because I'm fucking tired of paying attention. Four, eight, four. So that would be... Seven, seven, eleven, no, seven, thirteen, nineteen damage. She takes nineteen damage. Jeez, and the other, gross. the other berserker's dead. Fucking badgers, man. All All right. While I'm munching this guy's, like, Bye. There's more. There's more you can eat. Pockets, you're prone. <laughs> I'm prone? Yes, sir. Oh, that's right. Uh, I get up, and yeah, I can move into range. I move in, and I uh, try to lead off with my shield to try and knock her down. Sure. She doesn't have athletics range, so she falls down. Nice. And I attack, and I sneak attack. Okay. Uh, okay, 12 damage. Alright. Uh, the Rizurgers are all dead. Varn, you're up. Attack her. Alright, and she's prone, right? Correct. She dies. All right. Uh, congratulations. Uh, Titan's body lays there, headless, armless. Um, yeah, I really. I, I mean, I'm. I'm gonna. I, I just want to make sure this is clear. I did not want to kill him. Okay. Uh, he's like actually super dead. His he's head like is dead. completely his removed head. from his body. 
<laughs> it's all right. It's Typhon. We can make a prosthetic head for him. <laughs> he wasn't using it anyway. Wait, did my head just get destroyed? No, your head just got cut off. That's all. Yeah, I heard that part. Okay. Yeah, you were left in there with them for ten minutes. First things first, decapitate head. That's a berserker thing to do. It's metal as fuck. Drink the blood, and then disrobe you and take all your shit. Midway through that process, that second process, fucking badgers raged in, like they should have early on, and then they, you know, did the thing that they should have done. Yeah, I don't know how druids work, so I couldn't have just made that suggestion earlier. No, yeah. You're not supposed to. You don't, you don't play all the characters. You can't right. play everyone. Well, regardless, here's, here's the thing. Like, I felt really bad, but, like, I, I mean... I, f I felt like there was no choice in that. The way it was, the way it was done was. It's like, we have, we can rebuild Shield. him. Right. There are things that can happen, for sure. Right. And um, I feel like you gave us more than enough. Like, yeah. There were several times that we kind of broke her whole "don't do anything," and she still gave us chances. Yeah. That's so, why I told you to leave like way earlier. Yeah. I was like, get out of here. I, I never like, got a chance. I kept getting knocked out. And then I oh. finally did once I could. Anywho, um. I know, I know we're probably not going to continue, because I don't think you guys are going to drag Typhon's corpse around as you guys go through the dungeon. Keep in mind... <laughs> we could! We could use him to set up traps! <laughs> could just stick his head in the bag of holding, and that's I, it. That's I wanna, all you need. Yeah, I want to point one thing out, too, though. This is the first room of the dungeon. <laughs> this is the first room. Why was that so hard? Because that is supposed to be one of the harder fights in this dungeon. Yeah, it's... It's because this little narrow passageway. It would have taken me three turns to get through it, John. You, you didn't guys just, like, have a plan. In. Yeah, people just started marching through like they own the place. The second Typhon showed his face through the chasm, it was game. That that's, like, that we, made my decision We heard for me. that there was shit on the other side. We heard them draw swords, and you guys were like, I know what to do. We could have waited for the yeah, barrier. The narrow, they can't attack through the... I mean, they could still Hold close on. the door. Real quick, I just want to point some things out before we move on, because I do want to make sure that you guys have a good idea of what is and where we're at before I, I leave you to it, okay? And, and, and exit the thing. You see around you that there are torches that are in sconces that light the bare stone room. The six bedrolls, slightly burnt to a crisp. Um... They seem to be stitched animal furs um, and just, you know, bedroll material, excuse me, bedroll material. The cold air is still present here, and it seems to be coming from outside. The fissure, like, it's coming from outside. It's not coming from inside of a building, like you might have proposed beforehand. The thing you would notice, too, is that there are two very large double doors in this chamber. Both are made out of amber with a slightly translucent quality to it. You feel like if you were looking straight at it like this, you might be able to see what's right on the opposite side of the door. Like, if something was on the exact opposite side of the door, you'd be able to see it. All right, so we recover Typhon and all the, uh... We're, we're taking the Berserker heads in revenge. Sure. Post them on pikes up in the fucking cavern camp. That sounds metal as fuck. And, uh, the, the gladiator's head. We're taking all their heads as revenge. Absolutely. Yeah. So and we're bringing Typhon back to camp. A total of seven heads. Yeah, all my stuff. Oh yeah, they got your stuff. They didn't get out of there. They were trying to loot you. They thought they had won the fight. And then the fucking wall broke down. And badgers attacked. <laughs> badgers. <laughs> badger Nation attacked. The badger. <laughs> that, was, that was the day the Badger Nation attacked. Yeah. I mean, if Typhon would have been alive, he'd be like, why the fuck hasn't Farron ever done that? Well, yeah. Um, anywho. Um, uh, but no, I... Varn is actually carrying Typhon back to camp. You have a bag that can carry him. Like, you have Santa Claus's bag. You can just chuck it in there. Oh, yeah. It's not Santa Claus's bag. It's a big-ass bag of holding. Anywho, um, you, you stuff everything and go. But I'm just letting you know that the chamber that you found, now that the mechanism has effectively been broken, you try to toy with the, the mechanism, and it doesn't do anything. It doesn't close back up. Basically because the badgers ate all the stone, Whatever magic was in it is now gone. Um, but now there's an open passageway into the temple if you wish to pursue this specific place uh, any further. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream here. Um,